Hi, my name is Ramna. My personal blog is .netiq.com. Uh, go to the .netiq.com and like us on Facebook or subscribe for my YouTube channel to receive my latest videos. Coming to today's topic, how to call or execute parameterized stored procedure using entity framework. Uh, I already have a database uh, created. The database name is uh, practice and it has one stored procedure. Stored procedure name is get student details by ID. Basically, the stored procedure uh, takes the student ID as the input parameter and returns the student specific details. I'm going to show how to call the stored procedure through from entity framework. I created a console application, CSOP console application, and I used the framework 4.0. I opened the project with a framework 4.0, and it does not have anything, just it's a program uh, program.cs file. I'm going to add the entity data model, add, new item edu.net entity data model select the edu.net entity data model and give the practice sample so basically you have two options here generate from database or empty model since we already have a database is created so we are go creating the entity model from the existing for the existing database so i am selecting the generate from database and already it's created it has a connection string i created earlier so i'm using the same connection string practice entities and here you have the option to select the tables views and stored procedures i'm selecting the tables and stored procedures we have only one stored procedure and three tables employee student and teacher your model namespace is going to be practice model uh, it's going to create the entity model uh, with uh, three entities teacher student and employee but if you notice here, uh, if you notice here, it does not create any stored procedure. If you, it's not showing any stored procedure, to see the stored procedure, go to the model browser, and um, on the bottom side you have a model browser, and if you see here the stored procedure, for this stored procedure, I'm going to add a function in C sharp so that you can call the C sharp function. The function is going to call the stored procedure. Here I have an option. The function name, if you want, you can give the same stored procedure name, stored procedure name, or you can give your own name also. And the stored procedure, what it returns, it's a, you have th multiple options. It's returning nothing, or it's returning the scalar value, complex, or any entities. So first of all, you should know what the columns it is returning. So that information, if you click on get column information, it is going to show you what your stored procedure is returning. So if you have already a type is created, entity is created with all these columns, you can select through entities. If it is not created, select the complex and say that create new complex type. By default, it creates a complex type entity. The name of the comp entity is going to be the stored procedure name underscore result. So it's going to have the all the properties, whatever he listed here, whatever the stored procedure is returning. So I'm going with the same name, whatever it by default is showing and we click ok the function is created in your entity model go back to the solution file and go to this if you see here get student details by id you can see it now i'm going to call that through program uh, program.cs uh, before that you need to make sure you add the namespace of system dot data dot entity and here you need to create a db contest database contest objects uh, object here it is going to be practice entities uh, pc equal to new practice entities and cpc dot get student details by id i am just passing the one because i know there is a student existed with id one his name is going to be sai his name is sai i am storing the result in uh, where result object and so basically this method is going to return the list uh, object collections okay, basically your stored process is going to return a, a list of students or one student we know that it's always one student but it's going to be collection mm, so since i know that it's always going to return only one student details based on the id so i'm going to print the first or default one result dot first or default is going to be pick the first object and it's going to have the all the student properties student id student name teacher name and uh, all other properties so i'm going to print the student name so that we make sure you got the student details back uh, 
so console dot write line and print the student name i'm just giving the console dot write line to pause the cursor here console read line and just run this yes you see the size the student name you got from the the stored procedure the stored process is executed through this method uh, and i will come up with the new topic in my next video thank you bye